Welcome back to day three. <laughs> Rush, Rush is sick of the vlogs now. <laughs> We're in a donut shop place. We've got full English breakfast and stuff, and I got a watermelon lemonade. So, watermelon is like my favorite flavored thing. So, welcome back to Luis's drink review. I think it's like a solid 8 out of 10 for me, I quite like that. Do you want to try? Ooh. Ooh, I don't know what I mean. It's pretty hard. I quite like it, it's like a, like a lemonade. It's like a 6.93. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Okie dokie. Not quite what I was picturing, but it's quite cool. I've got a half and half full English, kind of, I think. I don't know what it's called. Uh, all American favourite. Um, so fun. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed in about five minutes. It's pretty good, wasn't it? Food coma. Okay, Kooky, breakfast was pretty good. We've checked out of the hotel and everything. Um, we're on our way to Pixar. Um, our Uber's a Tesla, so that's fun. Found that, it's pretty sick. Hello, mate. Good or bad or... Uh, so this is happening. I don't really know what to say. Even outside of Pixar, things are cool. It's just beautiful though. Like the, the, the brick as well. The brick's the brick. The actual... <sighs> so there's the Steve Jobs building with the Luxo lamp and the Luxo ball. What the hell? So we've walked around Pixar. It's, well, I still don't really know what to say. It's a bit overwhelming. But it's kind of weird because obviously we're here for D23, which is where they announce all the Pixar films, that in like a week's time, the stuff that they're currently working on in there, we'll know about, but right now we don't know about it, which is quite cool, so. Look at this. I love all the little attentions to detail they have at Pixar. They have loads of these little statues that are dotted around. There's loads more inside, but obviously we can't go inside as of yet. We're gonna try our luck, but... So we can't go, can't go into Pixar, obviously, because it's a closed studio. We're gonna try and message a few people, see if we can arrange a coffee or something. Um, we're heading into GameStop, which is something we don't have in the UK. Um, I'm a massive Funko collector, so I'm gonna go and have a look at some Funkos and stuff. But uh, yeah. See nothing of me in GameStop. It's quite cool though. They do have like exclusive stuff, just nothing that I personally collect. We're gonna head over to Target and look at look at first first ever Target trip. Here we go. This could be underwhelming or it could be okay. There's literally absolutely everything. Like if you name something, it's most likely here. Other than Prime. Prime is not here still. So the house of the wonderful Mrs. Doubtfire, which is kind of weird to say. So one of my favorite films of all time is Robin Williams, Mrs. Doubtfire. She And I love with all the San Francisco houses. These ones are so cool. Uh, so we don't really know where we are. We visited the AIDS Memorial, uh, and, and, and currently we are here. Ooh, what a, that's a sick van. That's so cool. Hippies. Um, yeah, we don't really know where we are. Uh, we might go and check out what that is, because that looks like fun. And maybe go on that if it's not 40 quid, so. Getting a hot dog. Hiya, can I get a New York style, old fashioned, that one, uh, a hot soft pretzel and a uh, Coke, please? I don't think the pretzels are ready. Yeah, no. They're going to be like maybe five, six minutes. Yeah, that's okay. We can always pop back. Right. Um, so just the New York style and a Sprite then, please. Some hot dogs and shit. Looking at the uh, Doof and Smurts even incorporated. Yeah. Okay. All week I've been banging on about a pretzel. And I've just tried a bit off camera. So salty. Oh my god, that is incredible. Yeah, freshly made. So good, man. 
how Japanese. Next dojo thing. There's mad Japanese culture in America though. Like in so one thing we've kind of found being in this like wherever we are park thing. Um, it's very pretty. Golden Gate Park. Gold, yeah, the Golden Gate Park. It, it's pretty and it's like it's very attractive and everything like that. But everything is paid to enter. Like in England, you can walk through certain gardens or whatever for like either like five quid or for free. Whereas this is all like $13, which is like nearly a tenner, which is quite a lot just to walk through a garden. Then the museums are like nearly 30 quid to go into. Museums, which are normally free in England, like I think 90% of our museums are free. Yeah. But these are not. Yeah, it's a lot. It's an expensive place, isn't it? So, yeah, we were speaking today about the cab, the, the cab driver told us that it's, like, one of the most expensive and, like, highly paid cities. Or it is the highly, highly most paid city in the whole of the US. So, hopefully, Anaheim's a little bit cheaper, but San Francisco, you've been spenny. Like, overall, it's a pretty few. Well, we're going to pop in here. It's, like, 13 quid, though. Uh, we don't have time for the planetarium. Hmm. Fun. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. This is cute. I feel like reflected beautifully in this wonderful Zen garden. This is kind of what the whole of San Francisco is like. Like for a city as well, for a big, big city, it's been very chill and very quiet and everyone's been so friendly and there's not really been any sort of Compared to London, like London's mad. Um, so we're getting on an overnight bus tonight that goes to LA and Anaheim. So that's gonna be a massive change in pace. But just look how chill everything is, man. Like, what are we gonna call him? Um, Kirk. Kirk? Yeah, thank you, Kirk. Kirk the fish. It's a shame this giant tower thing's closed or whatever it's supposed to be. I'm not really actually too sure, but there's this wonderful little beauty, which is really cute. So, I mean. Oh my good Lord. This was a bit ropey. Quite cute though, I guess. I don't want to fall in backwards. That's cute. That's pretty cool. This is sick. Look at that. What a view. You go. I'm joining the tradition. I wish. You like and subscribe. Yeah. Like and subscribe. I'm having a mother's meeting, man. Hello, you Albino. Doesn't overly seem practical. Yeah. It's really high. It's quite high. <laughs> it's quite a mission to get down, isn't it? It's just so cool, man. Like these little... Wee. I do love these sort of gardens. I'd love to have a little bridge like this. So we've got some authentic Japanese food. You've got um, what? Chicken karagi, karagi. Ch chicken karagi. Edamame beans, because I live off these things. Um, and I've got some miso soup as well, because miso hungry. It's a pretty decent view as well, I thought. Not too, not too shabby. Okay. Ain't no way that that is a real frog. What the fuck? Why is it so long? So we're currently sat in front of the San Francisco Institute of Technology, whatever that is, or something like that, Institute of Science. Um, it's kind of a vibey. We're wasting time because we've got time to do. But yeah, it's kind of, it's vibey. Like there's skaters, so cool and then people doing tiktoks and stuff and yeah gta simulation right oh man it's cool i'm lost right final thoughts on san francisco um yeah it was a good fight it was uh it was good i mean i got a couple of shots oh san francisco <laughs> oh sorry um yeah no san francisco is pretty good i actually really like it it's so relaxed and chill it's a bit too big I feel like getting around is a bit of a mission, but 
Um, I do really like it. You're not ever going to get views like this anywhere else. Seeing the bridge and everything and like, the vistas are sick. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. Look at that. But yeah. Um, it is, it's a really nice place. Um, very expensive though. Very expensive. Oh my god. I'm charging like 10 quid for just burger and chips. Yeah. It's a good place. I like it. It's, you never, it's, a, it's a unique town. So it has that going for it. But then again, so is like Somalia. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, there's a few more things we've got to do. Uh, we're gonna head over to the San Francisco Bridge on like a little stop off, as well as see the, pa the painted ladies, uh, which is what we were supposed to see earlier, but the stupid guy took us in the wrong place. Um, I'll give my full opinions on San Francisco later, but that was Rarson's opinion. Um, like, look how vibey everybody is, man. Oh, so you go. This time, the real painted ladies from Full House and oh. many other. Iconic sight. It's a beautiful sight, isn't it, Rajan? Wow, I, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no, it is really <laughs> I do like it a lot. They're very pretty. Like, I love the the way they're all done. And he was just telling us about this pink one down here. Apparently, a lady started and spent loads and loads of money on it, and then ran out of money. So now it's not as nice. But <laughs> <laughs> it's quite cool. There's a little park up here as well. It's quite a nice little spot. So yeah, mm, paint lady. To thirty-five million. Yeah. That's a beautiful house there, though. That one That's really cool. It's one of the newer builds, and I think that one went when it was new, and it's been maybe 20 years since it was built. I think it, it was around 17 or 18. 17 to 18. The view's beautiful, that though, as well. Um, yeah, you're that on the right as well. Yeah. What the hell? That's the Getty's, Getty Oil, J.P. Morgan, or J.P. Getty, and all that. That's They own those three houses. Three houses? This one's my buddy's house, actually. He's a friend of mine. He oh, started wow. PC World, Mac World Magazine. 38 million. 38 million. Oh, hey. And he's Daniel wow. Steele. So. Here and then ILM and all that was up in the red. It's wow. So like, Lucasfilm was down there? Yep, right where that building is right there. And have, there's a theater right in there as well. Good lord. Okay, so we got the final little bit of our San Francisco journey. Um, and, and, and what of you to end it, man. Like, I can't quite believe. Honestly, the views in San Francisco are just, they're second to none, man. Like, the cameras can't even do it justice. It looks so much bigger than it does in the cameras. It's just, it's mad, man. This, this place is beautiful. There's not much to do, but this place is crazy. So that's it really, that concludes our San Francisco part of the trip. Um, we're off to Anaheim tonight in LA at 10pm, getting an 8 hour coach journey, which I'm not going to vlog because that's going to be boring. Uh, but this video will come out and then we'll be off into our Anaheim section of the stint, so be sure to come back for those vlogs. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed all the vlogs uh, from LA, I'm going from, uh, from San Francisco of course. And then never know, we might be back again, it's just the views are meant to. I think, and uh, San Francisco, sorry, has been such an incredible experience. There's not been a lot to do in terms of actual activity. In England, it's very easy to just go down the road and find an activity. In San Francisco, it's massive. America's huge, as we found. The, the public transport is horrendous. Uh, Ubers are going to be your best friend. And they're not actually that expensive. The cable cars are sick, though. It's very hilly. Um, there's not a huge amount of food, but apparently there is, according to the guys who yeah, live here. Yeah. It's very picky it's food. It's definitely a town you have to stay in for a while to learn a lot about, I think. Yeah, but it's very good for a, for a weekend or a couple of days. If you are coming to California, I highly recommend visiting for a few days. It's been incredible. But yeah.